Okay, so this is a continuation of our previous lecture in identifying the premature uh, contractions and being able to identify where that con that premature contraction is coming from. So in the previous one we talked about the premature atrial contractions and in this one we're going to look and see what we can find. So again, just as I mentioned before, when I'm learning how to do an EKG interpretation or when I'm when I'm starting my EKG interpretation, I always count the rate first. So we got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Um, you're probably bordering because this one doesn't have the P wave included in it. You're probably less than a hundred. So I'm going to just go ahead and say that this is probably about a hundred, and that is without measuring in between. The next thing we want to do is we want to look at the rhythm. Is the rhythm regular? Is it irregular? Do we have hiccups? So if we go and we start looking, we can bounce and we can bounce these guys across and we're looking and what we find is that right here we have a hiccup. This one seems to be coming early. It's premature. It comes earlier than the rest. Take a look at that. Alright, I'm going to pause the video just one second. All right, so we've identified that looking at the rhythm, we've got one spot that seems to be coming prematurely. So we're gonna take a look at this particular beat first. So we need to compare it against what we know. So we can look at one that we recognize. Here's your P wave, QRS complex, ready to go, your PR interval, and then you have this well, that's part of your T wave inversion, but there's part of your T, T wave. So we're looking at what we have, and you have a peak T wave here. Pause, PR interval, and then you go into this QRS complex here. Well, let's go take a look at what we've got. We can see that we've got the T wave, so here we go with the repolarization of the ventricles but then there's nothing here. This is completely devoid. There's nothing there. And so if there's nothing there, there's been no atrial contraction because if you have an atrial contraction, what should you see? If you said you should see a P wave, then you are correct. There is no P wave here. The P wave is not visible. So that means that this is not coming from the atria. The atria is not responsible for this contraction. In this case, the junction is. So we're talking about an issue at the junction. So this is considered a premature junctional contraction. Now we have to look at the rest of the strip. So we've, we've figured this out. We've determined that this is a PJC because there is no P wave. Remember PJCs the P, it'll either be flat and then go into the QRS or it's going to be inverted and then go into the QRS. So in this case it's flat. So this is a premature junctional contraction because the problem is not in the atria. We don't have the P wave to call it an atrial contraction. So it is a junctional and the QRS is still, still narrow. That's how come we know it's a junction, junctional and not a ventricular because that looks identical to everything else. So let's look at the rest of the strip. When you look across here, you're going to find something you recognize, find that QRS, look before it. You've got a P wave. All of these have P waves. The QRS is there. It is within normal limits. Your PR interval, let me see if I can find, here we go. So your PR interval is definitely within limits. So you have a normal PR interval. So this would be referred to as a sinus rhythm with one PJC. And we said that the rate was wet. We said we were pretty close to 100. So this is probably going to be somewhere between a sinus rhythm and a sinus tack. You would definitely want to check that. Remember you can measure from P wave, excuse me, from R wave to R wave here to determine accuracy on that. But this is definitely a PJC because there is either no or it is inverted. And in this case, 
there is no P wave. P wave is absent, QRS is still narrow. Because the P wave is absent and the QRS is still narrow, it's considered a premature junctional contraction. And that's your answer.